Welcome to the guide on how to use Vicino's Boarding House Management System. The first thing you will see is the login screen. In this app, there are two kinds of account, the admin and the border account. I will show you first the functionalities of a border account. Let's enter the user ID and the password of a border. On the left side of the app, we can see the profile of the border. This is where the basic information of the border is located. We can find here the ID, name, address, the room where the border is staying, and other details. In the middle side of the app, we can see the border statement of account. As you can see, we have a table that shows the unpaid bills of the border. If you click one row from the table, the app will show the bill's description on the bottom. On the right upper side of the app is the announcement box, where the landlord's announcements will be shown if there are things that concerns the borders like a schedule of a meeting or an announcement for a new policy. While on the right lower side of the app is the request box where boarders can request for things they will need in their room. That doesn't mean that their request will be automatically granted by the admin or the landlord. If the request is granted, the landlord will put a corresponding price for the item they requested. It will be free unless it is an upgrade or addition to the original room they were staying. Before I forget, the border can also change their password by clicking the change password button located in the bottom of the border profile. To change the password, the app requires the user to enter its old password and its new password. They type your password for confirmation then click confirm to finish the process. Here is an example on how to add a request. The request will be automatically saved in the database and will be shown to the admin. That's all for the functionalities available for the border. Let's now proceed to the functionalities available for the admin. To log in, enter the admin's username and password. After you log in, the app will show you the home screen where we can find active announcements if there are any. On the left side, we can see the different sections of group functionalities. We have the border, room, billing, payment, and request management. Let's proceed to the border management section. Here, we can see the list of different borders. Click a row and it will show the details of the border on the side. The app will also show the room number where the border is staying. You can deactivate him if he ejects the boarding house and activate him if he comes back. If the border is not yet assigned to a room, a button will be enabled at the bottom. Let's assign Juan de la Cruz a room. We can see a drop-down menu where all available rooms are shown. We can assign Juan de la Cruz a bed space or a whole room. If he wants to occupy a bed space, another drop-down menu will be enabled that will show all the available beds in that room. Let's add a new border. Click the Add button, then fill in all the information needed and upload the profile picture of a border. Click Add, then Confirm. The new border will be added to the database. Let's proceed to the room management. This section has a few functions. Here we can see all the borders in a specific room. And we can also assign them to a new room.
Next will be the billing management, where we can see all the paid and unpaid bills of a border. We can pick to generate individual bill or generate each bill for everyone. After creating the bill, we can also print it. The app also provides functionalities for payment transactions. Here, we can see the list of unpaid bills. We can search a specific border to view their bills. After selecting a bill, we can choose if the border pays fully or partially. When the payment is confirmed, a window will appear for printing of the receipt. We can also see in this section the records of different payment transactions. Let's move on to the last section which is the request management. Here we can see the list of different requests and their details. The admin can change the status of a request to granted if it is approved and rejected if not. We can also update the charge for the request. These charge are considered as additional charge and will be added to the bill of the border. On the bottom part of the window is the announcement box where we can create a new announcement. As you can see, we cannot create a new announcement because there is still an active one. To drop this announcement, just click the button on the upper part of the box, then confirm it. Now, Click the Announce button and this will be broadcasted to all accounts. Lastly, we can change the password of the admin account. Just click the button beside the Minimize to open the window. The app will also require the user to enter its old password and new password. Retype the new password then confirm. This is Richard Pisino. Thank you for watching.